In this movie I'm going to run through how to use the offset command in ARCHICAD. I've got a number of examples here that I'll take a look at. First one is the most basic one and that's just offsetting a line from another line. However, if like me you have ARCHICAD as it's come straight out of the box, the offset command is not immediately available. So first thing I have to do is turn on the palette called control box. In this case I'm going to alt click on this line because when I offset I want to create an exact copy of the same line type. And to use offset what we've got to do is come down to the control box, click on this little button here called relative construction methods and select the fourth option along which is offset. We then use offset in conjunction with the magic wand where we can click on this edge and then just offset and move the mouse by a set distance, like so. You can repeat that, offset, magic wand, click on the line and move it across 50 mil. Another thing we can do that's advantageous is to offset a line of a different style, different colour, with different properties. So in this case it's a blue line, so I'm going to offset, magic wand, click on here and offset 25 mil. And you'll see this time it's a blue line that's created. Moving on from that, we can do multiple lines. So again, blue lines are going to create, offset, magic wand, click in here, bring it out, 50 mil. Something else we can do is use offset, but instead of using the magic wand, I'm going to use this option here for a polygon and just trace round three sides of this rectangle. Click on the last point, and this time when it offset, 50 mil inside, you'll see it's only the elements that have traced that are actually offset. Another thing we can do is rather than offset lines, which have disadvantages in that these are lots of separate elements, although they're grouped, they are individual elements, I can use the polyline command to offset from lines themselves. So I'll do this now, I'm just going to offset, magic wand, click on here, and then offset it by whatever distance, 150 mil in this case. In this instance, the advantage of this scenario is if I select the polyline, grab one of the corners and tell it to radius it of, let's say, 75 millimeters, I can apply it to all corners. Whereas in the case of the lines, I'd have to make sure to select all the lines, whether they're grouped or not, and then perform the same operation. The advantage is we now have one line as opposed to a group of multiple lines arcs. Uh, connected together. This option is to take the fill tool, offset, magic wand and fill in a shape but again have an offset in this in instance of 150mm. This final example we have a spline which could define a, a layout of a road and I'm going to take the polyline tool and offset, magic wand and click on here and do the offset. Something else we can do is underneath the offset command there's actually a multiple offset so if we do the magic wand again, click on here, we can offset maybe 100mm, repeat again at 300mm, and again at 500mm, and so on from there so that we build up a multiple offset until we hit the escape key. The one thing to point out here is it's not possible to offset a spline. Moving on now to some 3D examples. In this case, I'm going to produce the foundation slab underneath the walls that are placed in the foundation story here. If we select these and have a look at them in 3D, they're the set out currently. And what I want to do is place a slab underneath. So to do that, I'll drop back to 2D, go to the slab tool, go into my favourites, and I'll select foundation slab. And then it's just a repeat of the same process. This time it's just offset, magic wand, click on the outside edge, and I want to offset. 300 mil. This now, to give you a taste of what it looks like, a solid concrete slab underneath all the walls, but what I want to do now is cut out the holes inside. So to do that, the sequence is select the slab, make sure the slab tool is active, offset, magic wand, and then just click in one of these room spaces, and then repeat the process for each one. The end result in 3D after these holes have been created is the following.
The next example moving on from that is placing the ground floor slab inside the ground floor walls. Look at 3D just now, you'll see foundations are present but there's no ground floor slab. So back in 2D, slab till again, to the ground floor settings. And all I'm going to do is offset, magic wand, click inside the space this time, but what I'm going to do is look for the corner origin of the slab. I'm going to offset it to the outside edge of the inner skin. So if we look at 3D again, you'll see the slab's now in place. Now back in 2D, if I select the slab, it follows the profile of the shape of the building, but is offset only to the outside edge of the inner skin. The well, example is to place the roof on top of these walls. So grab the roof tool, go for this option here. First thing I'm going to do is set the roof pivot line, so we'll place that along the edge of the inner skin, pointing upwards. Previous view, if I pick offset, magic wand, click on the shape, and then we'll offset it with a 500mm overhang. And this creates the roof with a uniform 500mm offset all around the building. 